within my organization, and what, and I'm, I'm, I assume here, but like it's a younger company, and we haven't had this talk. Winning, first of all, is very individual. Like the most interesting thing for me is actually understanding what everybody in this room thinks winning is for themselves, so that we can reverse engineer it. That's what I spend all my time on. I don't give a shit if you want to buy the the Jets or if you want to make $137,000 a year, have ridiculously good work-life balance, still keep a job when you start your family. I don't, it's unbelievable how much I care and how much I don't care about what winning means to you. Meaning, I massively care and then you get to define it. For me, it's just about the journey of building businesses. It is my drug, it is my oxygen, I love it. I love that, I love this journey because I want to see how we stack up with me involved against the other people that are trying to capture the attention. And so in essence what it is is one big game of how do I provide the most value so that in return I get the attention that I seek. I do it on a personal brand level, I do it in my business levels. Like how do I build the best building, the best company for the people in it and for the people that are consuming it which then creates a byproduct of it becoming the standard and even more interesting, how do I change businesses? I love resetting the rules of industries. It was so fun for me to change the wine business, which was a business that on the lower price point, there were low margins, but on premium wine over $30, there was all the margin. I came in and broke that, and I love the legacy of changing an industry. I love that. And so like, I think we can really do that here. Upfronts or other things of that nature. One thing I've been already telling Ryan is like, whatever is in the best interest of the client, not the sales team, not my CFO, that's what I want to build. How do we build the best machine for them, which then means we'll get the most. So for me, winning comes in two forms. Just building very, very, very large businesses. I call it honey empires, right? How do I build a honey empire? How do I build unbelievably successful, massive businesses in a honey way, the right way, that's good for everybody involved, internally first and externally second, and then if I can leave a legacy that we changed it, like if my Wikipedia says, oh and then he went into this business and now everybody does it this way, that's super interesting to me. Like breaking shit and reinventing it has legacy. I like the legacy of it. So that's my selfish winning. Um, but honestly, like I, I, I care much more in understanding like what yours is and the truth is in a young organization like this, the biggest thing is building an organization that is flexible to reacting to it changing for you all the time. Because at first it's money, or it's, it's this, or creatively that. And then as you guys evolve, like the only way to keep people in a company for five, 10, 15, 20 years is to create the flexibility, kind of like a house that can deal with an earthquake, right? We have to build a foundation that can respond to all the life, the three to four core life changes that you'll go through along the way.